Hello guys, this is Santosh and uh, welcome to Tech Design. So in this tutorial, we are going to talk about how we can make this uh, particular model of remastering for this particular model. So as you can see here, this is a completely non-parametric. So it is having only a single body over here. So we don't have any features here. So we need to convert this into a parametric model uh, by creating all the features, for example, sketches, extrudes and other uh, you know features. So let's get started uh, with this model guys so now what i will do is uh, first of all i'll just go to datum create uh, coordinate system i'm trying to create a datum coordinate system here uh, i'll create a totem coordinate system so now you can see here in my case it is exactly in the middle so suppose if you are uh, you know trying to create and your datum plane is coming over here so in that case you can just go to uh, here and switch on this uh, center line and select the center line of this particular model so then it will be created at this place so now I'll just click OK. So as soon as you click OK, you can see a uh, datum coordinate system has been generated. So now we'll need to go to uh, Sketcher environment on this particular XY plane. I'm going to select this uh, XY plane and I'll just click OK. So now we are in uh, in the uh, you know Sketcher environment. So now uh, I need an intersection curves for this particular model outer um, you know profile. So for that I will just go to more here and intersection curve. Here I am going to select these intersection faces. So as soon as I select a faces, you can see here um, the curve has been generated. So this will indicate that we are doing correctly. And now I'm going to select all these uh, outer profile. So once we get a outer profile, we are going to uh, make a revolve for that. So once we revolve it, uh, whatever the body uh, we will get. Okay, so now I'll just click OK. So now as you can see here, this is an outer profile. So we have got an outer profile. So suppose if you want, um, you can just do like this, in, uh, go to intersection curves and uh, create an intersection curves and switch off this uh, associative. Then you will get a lot of you know dimensions. So you can do, you can do that uh, uh, you know uh, dimensioning. So since this is, this is a practice example, I'm not going to constrain them. So I'm just you know extruding them. Okay. So now again, I'm going to go into intersection curve. So now I need an intersection curve from inside. So inside surface, I'm going to select the okay so these things i have selected i'll just click okay so now i can see here uh, this is the complete profile we have got so now what i'll do is i'll just go to line here and i'll just close this profile okay so go to corner and create a corner here okay and in the same way i'm going to create a one more line here And let us make this as an horizontal, sorry, vertical. Okay, so now trim it at the extra portions. So I'm going to trim this portion as well because this is also not required for me. Anyway, I'm doing a, a revolve. Okay, so this is our profile now. So this is the final profile. Now I'll just give finish. Okay, so now what I have to do is I will just, you know, um, revolve this, go to revolve and select this particular sketch and now it is asking for run vector vector is along this and now the point is this okay click okay so now what i'll do is uh, you can see here there are cylinders so these two cylinders i'm going to create so for that again, I will just go to sketch and moment on this particular plane. Okay, and we'll just click OK. Now what we can do is we can just project this curve. So we don't want to intersect it because uh, when we have a plane here, it is not intersecting with this uh, body. So we cannot create an intersection. So we'll just project this outer circle. So I'm going to project this outer circle and I'll just click OK. So it is, has been projected. Now click OK. Okay, so now I need to, you know, uh, extra, you know, extrude this from this to this edge. So go to extrude, and now I'll just keep it as none. 
and this value let me keep it as zero and this is also let me keep it as zero okay so it should be in the opposite direction okay so first i need to give a distance start distance so what i will do is i'll just measure it from where we need to give so i'll just measure between this surface and this arc so whatever the distance it is there from that particular distance the extrude should start okay so i'm going to select this face and this circle okay so the distance is uh, 9.87 so i'll just click ok here so you can see here it is starting from 9.6 and this is until next okay so now as you can see here it is until next okay let me create it until selected and switch on this let me give this surface okay yeah you can see here this body has been created until this surface now click ok so now this is done i wanted to mirror this on the other side so go to mirror feature and select this particular extrude and now i need to select a plane select this plane and click ok So let me check this should not be unitized so you can see your boolean operation always keep it as none uh, when we are doing this cylinder why i'm going to tell you later okay so you can see here these two cylinders are being uh, you know developed so now what i'll do is i'll just uh, create this profile you can see here there is a cutout here this profile and uh, this profile i'm just going to create it so let me hide this profile i'll just go to sketcher on this particular plane click ok so now what i will do is i'll just project this curves so go to project curve and here is the project it curves okay these curves as well as these curves so these curves are enough so i'll just click ok so now as you can see here uh, this is not a line and arc so it is actually a spline so we don't want a spline we need to create an arc here so we can go to arc and start this creating an arc here later we can just delete the splines okay so here also same thing we need to create a line here so i'll hit escape and go to line this is my line same way i'm going to create it on top side so this is the another line okay so now let me delete this splines so this plane I'm going to delete and as well as this plane I'm going to delete okay so it has been deleted so now you can see here we are going to remove the material here so in order to remove that i need to have closed profile here so what i'll do is i'll just create a closed profile okay so let me extend this using e command so it has been extended now let me trim this extra line so similarly i have to do it in this size as well so for that i'm going to create a line here this is my line and go to create a corner so between these two there should be a corner and between these two and here also and on this also okay so now you can see here these two profiles are required so once the profile is done we can just click finish and now what we have to do is we have to remove this material 
from the body so what i'll do is i'll just switch off switch on this and uh, the reason why i have not you know um, united these cylinders to particular body is suppose if you are um, united and you try to uh, remove this uh, shape uh, profile so then the material from this cylinder will also be removed so that is the uh, main thing that i have not united okay so now let me go to extrude sorry okay so this is an extrude and now we will select this profile so let me select connected profile so this is the profile and it is asking for a vector so we need on symmetric values let us give symmetric value of 100 okay so it should be removed subtracted from this body okay just click ok so it's been removed uh, now we have to remove this as well so go to extrude again and select this particular profile now since it is a connected curve it has been selected so it should be removed from this body okay we have to give on uh, symmetric values so let us give symmetric values click ok okay okay so before removing the material we have to unite this so just undo and now i have to unite these bodies so this body with this particular body and as well as this body okay click ok so now i have to remove this so go to extrude and select this profile okay so it should be in symmetric and remote from this body so you can see it has been removed so similarly i have to remove it on the other side as well so what i'll do is i'll just go to this extrude and mirror this extrude so the plane should be this okay yeah so you can see here on the both side it has been removed so now uh, everything is done uh, only thing is we are left with some uh, edge blends so we can give those edge blends now so what i will do is uh, i will okay before going to do the edge blend you can see there is a hole here so we can do that Let's go to sketch okay so let me select this sketch plane okay and here either you can pro you know i'll just project this always make sure whenever you project or intersect uh, kindly create all the dimensions in order to make it completely constrained so now i'm going to extrude this on both symmetric way and it should be subtracted from this body okay whenever you are doing a subtract or addition always make sure you are selecting uh, the new features uh, instead of this body okay so now it has been removed so now uh, we are left with some edge blends so you can see here there are some edge blends go to edge blend and select this edge blend okay these are the four edge blends you can measure and uh, give the edge blends so since i already know the values i am just giving or else you can you know give and match the values so suppose if you can see here so these are the two edge blends we have suppose if we try to give the edge blend as 2 mm it will go beyond this line so this is the boundary line you can see here this is the edge blend so from the body so we need to match that so if we give 2 mm you can see here it is going beyond so it should be 1 mm so that it will be completely matching with the existing profile okay so click ok yeah so now we are left with uh, these edge blends here so for that i'll just hide this uh, body and i'll just give this here go to edge blend so 
so now this is not 1 mm it is a 2 mm so let me give 2 mm on all the four sides sorry 2 mm click ok and the outer edge blend is 0.5 mm sorry 1 mm so this should be 1 mm so I'm going to select this and the other side as well it is 1 mm click ok yeah so now switch on this body and also there is a 2 mm of edge blend here so let me give that like this go to edge blend and select this okay so to m click okay so i think all the you know edge blends are done so now you can see here our um, model is completely you know completed so this is how we can make a remastering uh, for this particular model guys so if you have any doubt please comment in the section below and uh, I'll try to answer them.